Hello all and welcome. I know it's Halloween, but it's not the Halloween special. It's just me, my normal TPK show. Series 2, episode 4. Uh, I think hopefully last week's vlog went okay. I hope everyone liked it. As I said, I was more in depth, more positive on it. If I take these glasses off, I I seem to concentrate more on on telling the stories rather than looking off the internet, as you would have guessed. If you haven't seen it, take a look. It's interesting. So, for the first part it will be a YouTube uh, review I mean I've been this family I've been following for a long time and I've mentioned it before many times it's the Ingham family um, last year Decemberish time they were in Dover and stayed at the, um, the hotel and they came into the shop and I chatted to them I, I wasn't subscribed to them then I didn't know they were YouTubers at the time but they came in asked where August was and of course we had Christmas decorations up and uh, we had lucky dips for the kids and the three girls picked prizes, random presents. Uh, but yeah, but didn't know then. No, I didn't know then they were the good family. They were just a family just looking for Argos and just in Dover. And then I find them on, face, on in, in, Facebook, I find them on YouTube and it's like, oh, wow, if I'd known it was them I would have, you know, oh wow, you know. You know then um, this is before they got into the thousands of thousands of thousands of subscribers, you know hundreds of thousands. So I'm quite proud to say that I met them before they were this famous. But um, I just wish that I knew at the time. I would have loved to have had a good chat with them. But, you know, to me it was just a normal family. In fact, they are just a normal family. But at the moment, they're in, uh, at the moment of filming this, they're in America, they're in Disney. You know, it's, um, I've got a lot of respect for them with Chris. And Sarah, the parents, you know. I mean, Chris, I mean, he must be up till the very early hours of the morning editing the vlogs. I mean, blooming heck, you know. Um, and the kids, you know, Isla, Esme, and Isabel, you know, brilliant. Uh, of course, Isabel's now got her own channel. Good honour, good honour. We're sure of the look. But no, I'm sure. What you watching this is bound to be subscribed to and bound to know who they are. But if not, by some miracle chance or not, then there's a link below. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll put the link in because I do forget to put the links in now and again. But then when I realise, I put it in a bit too late. <laughs> yeah, um, brilliant family. There's lots of families on the internet um, that are really good, nice, and fun to watch and follow. But the Ingham family have got. <laughs> That touch of reality to them, touch of genuine. Is the word genuis, genuinicity a word? <laughs> if not, I've invented it. Genuicity. <laughs> Which you don't get much on the internet these days. So, yeah. Definitely subscribe to them, take a look if you're not already. As I've already said, this isn't a Halloween vlog, it's just um, a DBK show. This story, <laughs> um, I don't know how, how someone could do this. Uh, there's a zoo in Oregon, yeah. uh, this bloke goes in, looks around, and he sees a snake. He's thinking, oh, okay, I might nick one of them. And he nicks this, <laughs> this snake and shows it down his trousers. <laughs> to nick it, to steal it. Uh, the zoo and I were going to go in. It's a good job it wasn't Monday because that was feeding day. Can you imagine? I mean, what? Was, I mean, yes, yeah, so the innuendos are quite high at the moment to my mind, but I can't say many because I don't know who's watching this, but <laughs> if you've got an imagination, you can understand. I mean, talk about, yes, yeah, so the snake in your trousers, there you go. But blame me neck, um, it was a python with $200, a python, wow, I mean, how, how what, 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 
frame of mind you have to be in to do that. I just can't. I mean, you might as well go and, and stick a meerkat down your trousers, you know, it's... <laughs> just trying to picture the, the commercials for that. Um, yeah. Okay, there you go. Uh, <laughs> compare the meerkat.com, yeah. Okay, um, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say about that. There's just so many innuendos and funny things I could say. Uh, but comment, comment all your comments, you know, sarcastic ones, you know, funny ones, uh, things, I'm, things I'm thinking of at the moment, just comment. <laughs> but come off it, oh. Yeah, when they said it's not, look, it wasn't feeding day. Right, the next story is a story of uh, how people work together to rescue and the ability to to save an animal's life. This elephant in Sri Lanka is stuck in this lake and slowly drowning. They couldn't get out. And the locals spotted it and uh, they improvised to rescue this elephant using tyres, using anything they could find. Um, it's just hot woman that people can work together to do these kind of things. Uh, you know, I can't, I mean, nine hours, so the elephant must be so distraught, so. Yeah, trying to survive. And it would have died if it wasn't spotted, you know. So these people have rescued an elephant. Yeah, so hot woman. I mean, I don't know how often these kind of things happen. I mean, luckily this is in the news story, but I mean, I wonder how many, how many people have done these kind of things in the past, different places, you know. You know, I, if I, you know, there's animals I don't like, but I wouldn't see them harmed, you know what I mean? I mean, I don't like foxes, but they look cute, but they're not nice. But if one got trapped somewhere, I'd want to rescue it, you know. It's just, I think it's human nature to do that kind of thing. I mean, some people act like they don't care and do that kind of stuff, but when these things happen, you see the true people, you see what they really like, see, you know, the true people. So, you know, my heart goes out to these people who rescued and the elephant, wow, well, you know. Third story is a bit Halloween y, <laughs> but the creepiest thing is, it's happening in Canterbury in Kent. <laughs> There's a pub called the Tyler Kiln in an historic county of Canterbury where the CCTV show overnight that um, furniture moves on its own. The um, owners have also witnessed strange occurrences like walking past a cabinet with the lights off, the doors locked, then they walk back past it again a few minutes later and the doors open and the lights on. And when they check the CCTV, the footage gets distorted and then the lights are on so you don't see anyone just distortion little things like that little niggly things you know what i'm have to try and find this pub myself and just go into it and talk to them <laughs> i'd love to do that should i visit them in canterbury and do a vlog or do i just i don't know i'd do 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 love to actually because again, the courage to go in there, they might go, ah, get away, you little bug, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I try to think where it is in Canterbury, I'll have to Google it. But, whoa, I mean, that's, I don't know, I mean, you hear about these stories a lot, but most of them are fake, you know, 90% of it's fake. Or most, you, most probably you all think that it's all fake anyway, but you never know, do you? You never know. I like to see proof for myself, you know. I wonder how many people would want to call into that pub now just to get the information and to see the footage and the, the photos and the video. You know, I should take my vlogging camera there and see them. <laughs> but jeez, I mean, come off it, I mean, what the heck? Do you know of any haunted places or haunted pubs? Have you witnessed anything haunting? Have you, you know, anywhere near you that's haunted? I'd love to spend a night in a haunted place. 
not on my own, a few people, get the vlogging equipment, you know, just torches and stuff. I would love to do something like that, I'd love to. I mean, I not I don't like getting freaked out, but it would be interesting, interesting to witness stuff myself and hear things and see things and, you know, it would be quite interesting. It would certainly open my eyes up a bit more, and open my eyes to these, you know, sceptics or whatever, you know, certainly. Might be a new career path for me, I don't know. But yeah, so there you go. Can't believe it's only, you know, only down the road. It's in Canterbury. <laughs> I must have walked past there every, every time I work there, I don't know. <laughs> so I'll let you know how that goes, and I might put the courage up and go in there and speak to them. You know, I don't know. But I wanna, don't wanna go down my own, I wanna go with a few people. Maybe I can hook up with, you know, IKS or, on Caskill or somewhere and just go with them and <laughs> see. That'd be quite fun that would, wouldn't it? Right then, on to the movie side of things. This is a bit different this week. Um, I've got a bit of movie news which I want to tell you and a, a review for film but not my review because I haven't seen it yet. The first part is going to be well, you know what? While Warner Bros. is trying to create a monster verse, you know, you've got uh, the Marvel Universe, DC Comic Universe, and now the Monster Verse by Warner. But it's like films like Pacific Rim, Godzilla, King Kong. The talks are, this is only talks at the moment, what I've read, speculation. But the talks are the ones to incorporate them all and have them in one unit, got one verse. So you've got. So you might see, you, you're going to see in 2020 Godzilla vs King Kong anyway but they want to incorporate Pacific Women to it as well and some other monster films and they want to make it like that which I think would be a good idea because I've always been into monster films I've always loved the old Godzilla movies I've always loved that kind of stuff you know it's to me it's that fantastic um, okay Skull Island wasn't brilliant but it was in but it kept you gripped and right at the end, you know, the ending of that film, you knew there was going to be a sequel, you knew there was going to be Godzilla vs King Kong. So, I don't know, I think it would be interesting because Pacific Rim, you've got the, the robots, um, just trying to picture Godzilla fighting a robot, that'd be weird. Um, now, the next one is I want to really want to see this film because I'm a big Marvel fan, is Thor Ragnarok. They've all, there's been reviews already for it by critics and whatever and what it sounds like is it's going to be a roller coaster of a fun, packed, entertaining, action, um, good effect movie. The person who directed it, he also did Hunt for the World of People and What We Do in the Shadows and they were quite successful so I can understand the humour but the, the one line is in the it's supposed to be really in, in the right places and really good. And of course you've got the Hulk in it. And I can imagine the banter between the Hulk and Thor. Quite interesting. Even though the, the Hulk, the Hulk, Thor doesn't talk much. Or the Hulk, rather the Hulk doesn't talk much. But still, that should be quite entertaining actually. But it's promised to be the best out of the three Thor movies. Best out of the three Thor movies. But to me, Guardians of the Galaxy is still my favourite. Uh, Doctor Strange, it's all so good. So yeah, there's lots of, and of course Deadpool, which is not really in the universe, but it is in the universe. It's one of those things, um, Spider-Man Homecoming was good, I like that. But I really want to see this because it, it leads up to the Avengers Affinity War doesn't it so I'm looking really looking forward to that one even though it's in two parts <laughs> so yeah um, so it comes out in November the Thor does so only a few weeks to wait I'll give you my review of that when I've seen it and see if it goes up to the hype and now the closing down part of the, the video the DPK show so yeah most of the stores have come from different 
formats this, this, this time. Uh, the Telegraph to the Mirror, you know, I do check different websites. I just hope that it's um, getting better as it goes along. I wish I could do more. I still plan on trying to podcast again soon, or maybe the next series. But as you watch this, my Halloween vlog will be going up um, in an hour after this. Depends on you're watching this, so it might already be up, already be up. But that's going to be a podcast as well as video, so that's a bit of a test as well. So hopefully you like that. I hope you like this one. Don't forget to like, subscribe tap that bell for notifications so you get all the updated vlogs I upload you get messages so you can watch them when you want subscribe you know if you haven't clicked already give it a click I would like to get to 70 before Christmas or maybe 100 will be a bonus but I can't see that happening but if, I, if it does then wow you know I'd be very happy of YouTube, you can only do so many things if you get 100 subscribers, then it opens up more doors for you, especially the creative studio. You could do more on that, and you can leave a note and you can do more contact creators or creators more, chat with them. But I need 100 subscribers for that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this, and have a good Halloween, and I'll see you next week. Two minutes.